Hey, what is up, guys? My name is Little Corn Dogs, and in today's video, we are playing some Ark Survival Evolved on the PS4. Now, if you guys do have a PS4, make sure to leave your gamer tag down below because I'm going to be inviting some of my subscribers into my world. Now, Ark is getting really hard, and uh, yeah, just getting cementing pace was a challenge for me. So, if you guys are pretty good at Ark and you do want to join my world, make sure to leave your gamer tag down below. Now, if you guys haven't seen my last video, I recommend you guys to go ahead and check that out because uh, it was pretty it was pretty difficult trying to just tame a megalodon without other animals trying to eat it. But uh, that struggle's over now, and now it's just trying to get cementing paste. Now, cementing paste was one of the most difficult things I've ever done in this game, honestly. It is so hard to get, and uh, I was doing kind of research on it, I guess you could say, looking up a bunch of videos and all this other stuff, and I only found one thing that would really work. Now... When I found it, it was pretty much saying how go to the swamps and uh, actually get a frog. You have to tame a frog, and then you have to kill an animal, and then a bunch of bugs will surround it, and then you can start getting cementing paste by killing all the bugs. But the downside about that is I didn't know how to get cementing paste, and cementing paste is actually used for the frog's saddle. So I was like, okay, well, that won't work. So I looked up more and more videos, and I was searching for hours, honestly, and... Uh, I stumbled over this one, and it was saying how pretty much if you get snails, they release a, uh, here, I'll put this on the screen right here, they release a kind of gel, and it's, it's I think it's a type of cementing paste, but it works exactly like cementing paste, and uh, so yeah, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to exactly get snails, and I also looked up if you could pick one up with a pterodon and all this other stuff, and nothing really came up, so I had to go on game and try it out for myself. Okay, so right here I actually spotted a snail, and I was I was still curious if you could even carry one. So I had to test it out, and as you can see right here, yes, you could actually carry one, which is pretty cool. So I flew it all the way back to my house and made a little containing area for it. So one thing that's actually really cool about this is that it drops a, uh, a little piece of cementing paste every single minute. So that got me thinking, what happens if I were to have a bunch of snails in here constantly dropping cementing paste? Alright, so I headed out and I actually found this one inside of its shell, so I knew something dangerous was probably around. So when I went to land to get some more stamina, I think these are called terror birds, but they started attacking me, so I had no other choice just to fly away. But uh, I saw them starting to attack him, and I wonder what he would do. But he actually hid in his shell, and they didn't do anything to him. So I picked him up really fast, flew all the way home, and now I have infinite cementing paste. So me thinking to myself, being really cocky, saying, wow, I'm really good at this game. I go out and uh, try and catch another snail. So while I'm looking around, I actually see this drop, and it has a weird orange ring around it, which i never seen that before. And uh, yeah, you'll see how it turns out. So yeah, that wasn't really worth a metal axe. Uh, I did not expect for that T-Rex to just come out of nowhere like that. But it is arc, and that is what happens. But if you guys do know what that orange ring does, make sure to comment that down below, because I have no idea what that is. Anyways, on my journey back home, um, actually a bunch of raptors started jumping me. And uh, of course I died, because I, I don't know. I just kind of gave up. I already knew I was going to die. I think there was about three of them. So... Anyways, uh, the cool part was was that I actually tamed another pterodon and I made the saddle for my megalodon. Well, I didn't know how OP this thing is, but this thing is ridiculously strong. Now, if you guys do have a chance to tame one of these, I definitely recommend it. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, and if you do want to see some more content like this, go ahead and subscribe. 